hit the button. Okay, I believe I hit the button. Okay, uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to recheck these coordinates later. I'm on 20W48A, and I found something I was looking for from the previous snapshot, uh, which is this right here. So I'm, I'm really hoping this doesn't take long to mine because it's just slightly underwater. The funny thing is, despite the fact it's called tough, it's not very tough rock. Of course, I am using an iron pick, which is what's meant to really mine these structures, because this is an amethyst geode. I finally found one. I finally found one, and I'm not lining up with this very well. Oh, okay. I'm underwater, but I'm fine. Uh, this all happened. Uh, I do have some torches, which will be great because these places have been known to fill up with enemies quickly. I just see the way out that there usually is, and I totally missed it. To be perfectly fair, this will help me know which is the way in and out. Uh, I probably should block that. <laughs> uh, yeah. Calcite's pretty cool. I should have also brought some cobblestone. I was actually looking to find the desert that I had seen, and then I found this beautiful structure. Uh, I think that might be full growth, but I'm not entirely sure. Let's see if there's any full grown. Another drowner around here. Uh, I can hear them. I can try, because this is very delicate, but I was looking for the desert, trying to uh, navigate my ice maze, whenever I found the shadow of a rather round structure underneath one of the icebergs, and this is it. Because they're actually pretty easy to find if you're underwater. Isn't that cool? <laughs> well, not just because I'm at an iceberg, but you know. Okay. Are you a nut? Well, actually, there's a way to know. Uh... Okay, it calls it the, an amethyst cluster. That's an amethyst bud, this is a cluster. They don't look too different between the buds and the clusters whenever they're very close, but it is more distinct whenever you look at a cluster. And remember, when it comes to using F3, that was literally invented by the guy who made Wyla. <laughs> so, that's, it's like, literally the exact way of doing it. Okay, so, that does not take long to mine. That is something I've been after for a while. Oh my gosh. Like, the weight has been worth it, because I got the Amethyst Shards. I have the copper back home. I just need to utilize it. Uh, and these will regrow over time. So, if I just revisit this area periodically, I should be able to... That is actually a rather large cluster. Thank you. And you can actually pick up these blocks pretty easily, but you cannot, even with Silk Touch, take these. The ones that create the amethyst buds, uh, or the budding amethyst, are completely and utterly immune to anything like that. So they will just disintegrate. So you must harvest the stuff in amethyst geodes or it will not apply. You know, because there's so much packed ice around here, I probably can mark this entrance with another torch. Just need to get up to the surface, mark my spot, I'll remember what it means. Ah, there we go. It means dive down here for amethyst. Okay, that's... And I had to take on a few drowned on the way, but they they dropped nothing important, so... Yeah, it's not like I was going to grab their thing. It's a pretty low chance getting the uh, trident. I will be very happy whenever I get it, but I am... I, I, I was originally going to hunt webbits. That was what I was going to do, is, is hunt some bunnies, get some of their nice pliable leather, and, uh, uh, and uh, make bundles out of them. There's a very fast zombie coming my way. I could have sworn that the desert was kind of close to this area. Oh, I think that might be it over there, actually. I have to circle around and go to my mining base, slash main base. Oh, that's a forest. That's a good forest, though, because it, it has birch trees. I need to grab some birch. 
Well, at least I'll remember that's there. I don't want to do too much loading because, again, new terrain soon. Although, in this snapshot, it's not technically there yet. Uh, instead, uh, we did get the dripstone stuff, but it's all creative only, and I'm doing this as a survival series, so that's a little contradictory. Uh, I do, however, have strategies that I'm already thinking of ahead of time, in case they eventually do become available in survival, which is, like, guaranteed to happen, it's just we don't know when. I also found out that if I navigate correctly, I should be able to get between my original island and my my current base just through the water. I just need to go to it carefully. And preferably speedily in this case. Ah, hi, Salmon. Nice to see you. But, yeah, a lot of things I was thinking of, of doing during this time didn't quite line up, but hey, whatever works. I did find the amethyst, so that's cool. I'm, I'm just going to have to maybe eventually find where in the world that uh, desert was, Be because, again, I, I, I want to get the bundles. They're really cool. Uh, they're not exactly behaving exactly like a backpack would or a pouch or something like that, uh, but they do kind of help with inventory management, because basically they give you one stack that's mixed. <laughs> like, uh, any combination of things add up to 64 as long as they're not things that are a stack of their own, or, and if they happen to be things of which are, uh, things with reduced stack size, but not exactly a stack of one, then they reduce the overall stack size you can get. And is that the area I spotted lava at before? Yes, it is, but it's like super occupied right now. Then again, am I really needing to worry about that? Because it's gonna be that occupied regardless. So I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm gonna go for it. I need the lava. If I can find out where it is. Oh, that's why it is. That explains a few things. Uh, it's a ravine that goes very deep. It probably wraps around to over there, which is where the lava is. So that's probably how that works. And there's... No, that that's a magma block, and those are ground that are aiming at me right now whenever I don't have a better bow. So that was not what I thought it was. Okay. Okay, I'm officially going in escape escape route mode. Because that was not lava. I think I'll have a better luck mining underneath my island when I break it back to it. In all likelihood. Of course, there's other things I might be able to do. And I do need to keep a lookout for a lot of light sources, because... I have seen, like, more ruined uh, portals, and at least one of them, I haven't been able to get down to it yet, has a solid gold block just standing on top of it. Just, it's like, hi, would you like a block of gold? And I'm like, yes, please. <laughs> so whenever I get around to that, I'm totally taking that block of gold. Hmm, that's weird. Could have sworn that you'd be able to eat a fish while going at full speed. Did that get changed? I'm, I'm, I know you're technically busy rowing the boat, but I'm just wondering, when did that change? Because I've never had that issue before. And I've been in boats a lot. So I, I'm, 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 I'm thinking I may have missed a note here. I don't think that's part of the current update cycle, but I could be wrong. And again, I just have a monumental glacier. But okay, whenever I get home, I'm making that spyglass. But right now, I am trying to see if I can spot the... Oh, that's a big one. <laughs> that's a big underwater ruin. Okay. Uh, that's impressively sized. It, it also has sea lanterns. It, wait, is that even an underwater ruin? Uh, no, that's not. Uh, that is a full-on ocean monument that I am not ready for yet. <laughs> okay, it's got massively overgrown, so it may have looked like something it wasn't exactly. 
but it's actually considerably more impressive. <laughs> that's fair, and that might be the desert. That's totally the desert I've been looking for. Sweet goodness. Thank you. Just thank you. I don't have a traveling bed, but that is what I'm looking for. It does exist. I knew I saw it. And because I'd seen it before, that means I had obviously loaded it, and it doesn't count as two chunks. Uh, so I should be fine on that front. I just want to find a safe spot for a little while while I wait until daylight. Again, I don't exactly have a traveling bed. Though, hunting spiders would still be a good idea because... Well, it takes two string for every bundle, and... Oh, hi! Would you like to donate some dirt? Donate some gold to the piglins fund? He's not generous to the piglins. Uh, to be perfectly fair, totally different faction. Wouldn't think that they'd be... Oh. Good thing I decided to craft a shield in between. Okay, th th that took care of that problem. Uh, I absolutely love it whenever I get to finish them off with their own arrows, though. I just wish that would have been a perfect opportunity, but it wasn't quite. It's always better when you corner them for that. Husk. Hello, Husk. Would you like to hydrate? Nice water over here. Nice water over here. Hydration? You're always a bit dry. So you hydrate for a while, and I'll try to find a bunny. Of course, I'll also accept the occasional spider, and preferably go around the creepers. You totally need to avoid being blown up in one shot. I have a decent amount of iron, but it's not really enough to really go all in with everything yet. And I do need to do a lot more uh, mining off, off screen. Or on screen, actually. Because, you know, actually, caves and cliffs, as it gets more of the terrain in, will make mining way more exciting. Because you'll never know what you're going to get. Because you could be mining your way into a whole new kind of cave. Like, hi, new cave. Nice to see you. I was just mining a vein. Mining my, mining my own business when I ran into you. I have a ton of... Oh, yes. Well, I have a ton of oh, yes, but that's not what I really meant. <laughs> I going to say I have a ton of sand back home, so I just really needed the... The question is, can I one-shot the bunnies? I need to one-shot them. Or get them into the water, where they don't maneuver as well. Ah, perfect. One-shot bunny. Okay. Okay, now. I'm totally going FUD. I'm hunting webbits. There's a Westerly webbit. Hey, what a wabbit. Uh, wait, oh, you're too small. Oh, I think I need a bigger wabbit. Oh, I just need a big bunny. Where's the bigger bunny? Yep, no. Oh, the Wesley web is hopping away. Of course, it is Wesley. And a wabbit. Wabbit. Wabbit! Where's the wabbit? Oops. Wabbit filled out. <laughs> Aww. No weather! <laughs> okay, that, that was maybe a bit too much fun, but that's okay. I'm having some fun here. But they will spawn all over the place in the desert, so that was fair. Of course, one of these days, I might try actually farming the rabbits. You can do that. Just not exactly perfectly uh, lined out, but uh, that's what carrots are for. Of which I have none. Just, just for the 
Just for the record, I, I have no carrots for, for the rabbits. Uh, not currently. I know they'll follow you with dandelions, and I'm wondering... I think you can breed them with dandelions, too. So, I believe I could go that route, but... First and foremost, I am after... after the rabbit hide. So... I'm definitely going to look for anything of which hops. Oh, we're back in Elmore Fudd mode. The hunt is on. I see the wabbit. 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 Aww. Don't be like that, wabbit. You're only making it harder on yourself. Oop. Wabbit. Oh, don't look at me that way. Don't look at me that way. <laughs> it's sad. <laughs> but it has to be done. It's for the greater good. You know how it is. Okay, no rabbits currently. I have a feeling from now on, every time I see rabbits, I will turn into Elmer Fudd. Uh, what is it with me and having shallower jumps recently? I think it's just the way that I have the controls right now orientated to myself, because again, I'm on a different computer than usual. Although I was able to get my account over pretty easily, they make that really, really easy. You just sign in like usual and bingo. So this is as so long as the computer has Minecraft, it's like, oh, that's you again. So that was easy. It's like I hit the easy button or something. Ooh. Of course, I, I'm, I'm hoping to hit the easy button with inventory. Because, again, bundles. Wait, is that... No, that, that's not what I thought it was. That's just a bone. <laughs> of course... One thing that would be really great is if I find a village that uh, could conceivably give me some cats, because I, I, I can, I can now officially uh, fish as much as I want because I was doing some fishing off screen, and I got the eternal fishing rod. <laughs> That's right, the the, the it, not quite the perfect fishing rod. I I need to get more for that, but I got unbreaking three mending on one and. Once you've got that, you can just keep fishing forever. <laughs> so it's it's like it will actually be gaining durability rather than losing. It started with 9, wound up with 64 within just a few rounds. So it's like, hello, would you just like a fishing rod that lasts forever? And I'm like, yes, please. I love this. I always love this. I will never deny having a fishing rod that lasts forever. <laughs> it's like totally out of character for me to reject such a thing. So it just gave me the world. It's like, okay, let's just give you everything that is cool. And just go ahead and fish. I'm like, thank you. That's a total win-win. But am I out of if I'm if I'm out of rabbits, I could be doing some wandering for a while. Oh, hello over there. I suppose that's worth it too. Just just cause. I mean, I know I'm. Again, going against the whole thing about avoid loading too many chunks if you can. But I don't know if I can avoid doing this because it's obviously a second instance of an of a underwater ruin that isn't so underwater. I mean, honestly, the odds against that is hilarious, and it's happened at least twice in this world. <laughs> so who can refuse such a gift? I don't even have to swim for it. It's just right there. Hello. Apparently it broke some, uh, broke some, uh, sugar cane? Oh, I needed that. I really needed that. Thank you. Uh, I'll go ahead and take this. So this is my, like, I have now officially had four different treasure maps, uh, which is of course beautiful. And many of which I will go through whenever we have honestly more terrain to deal with than just amethyst geodes. Uh, because that would work with them very beautifully. Because I want some more caves. I will take the, uh, the uh, magma blocks like a treasure of their own. Hmm. Oh, wait. Oh, you, you've got to be kidding me. I asked for a village. It answered. Oh, that that that's beautiful. 
Okay. Uh, officially, that village has now become a partial priority. Unfortunately, both of my types of fish are already cooked, and I need to return back to base. But I will try to get the coordinates for said village, or at least this desert area, and come back. So, yeah. Okay, let's see here. We're at minus 830, positive 150 approximately. So, that's a thing. Uh, yeah, so I can get a cat. Uh, that would be beautiful. Because if I get a cat, uh, I'll be able to get a lot of things just by sleeping and letting the cat have some nice cuddle time, which they always want because they're cats. Let's, let's face it, all cats just love attention beyond anything else. <laughs> like, just please be with the cat. And we're all like, yes, totally, we will be with the cat. It's definitely an opportunity of which I can say Minecraft totally imitates real life. Because <laughs> the cats always want to be there with you. Did I hear something? No, I didn't. For a while, I thought I was being thrown, uh, thrown a trident at again. Uh... A shot with a trident again? Snipe with a trident? Yeah, snipe with a trident works. Uh, because that's totally what they're trying to do. It's totally trying to snipe me. Well, I also know that there was another place that probably has lava, but I'm starting to wonder if my lava sightings might be a little exaggerated. Because, uh, well, obviously I was actually seeing a magma block instead with that underwater... Uh, structure, so I have a feeling that I might actually have better luck just mining underneath my island until I find an underground lava pocket. So that's also totally a thing, but at least I know I have a village along the rim. I'm calling it the rim because, like, my glacier is huge. It is just truly huge, and that is the most random block of stone I've ever seen. Just look at this thing. <laughs> it's just out in the middle of this desert where it totally doesn't belong just standing there. Just one little stone. It's like, I am the stone that stands alone. I have rhymed. And I am a rock. Thank you. Uh, and I am saying, you're welcome, rock. You seem to have done it perfectly. Okay. I am officially out of rabbits very quickly. Uh... I don't know how fast they respawn in a desert, but I only have uh, one lonely rabbit hide, I do believe. Yep, and I need to eventually get back to my islands. So I'm probably going to go back in, find my island base, of which I do have coordinates for it so I can close in much more easily now, and craft myself a, uh, a uh, spyglass because I don't have enough rabbit hide to make a bundle. I really want the bundle more, but eh, y y y whatever. Whatever works, you know. I, I, I mean, I found the amethyst. Uh, it also lets you do some other things that are pretty cool now. But I don't have all the things I need to worry about for that stuff. Oh yeah, I need to put up my coordinates again so I can find my way back home. Because I need to get to, I believe it's positive 130, positive 130 for my actual base now. So here I go through the ice maze, this time knowing exactly where I'm trying to go. <laughs> so let, let, let's see if, if that helps, because otherwise I know that the place is incredibly impregnable, even by myself. So nobody shall invade me anytime soon. I shall be the least invadable pirate ever. Okay. Uh, that's happening again. Oh, I perfectly placed that boat and just kept going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, see you later. <laughs> oh, that 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 was that was perfect.
Am I moving too fast for him to snipe? Obviously the answer was yes! I was totally moving too fast for him to snipe. I just need to make sure I don't just throw myself into, uh, like, a wall or something. That would be kind of a bit of a slowdown. Hi, Regional Island. Nice to see ya. I might put a base on you eventually. Right now I'm going somewhere slightly else. All this wonderful blue eyes, though. I really wish it was more useful for stuff in general. Because, it, I mean... I mean, who really knows? I mean, could you do something with glacial blue eyes? That's a really good question. But... And I mean, I'd like to. It's like Ultra Ice, and that also shows this my own mortal way, because I have a campfire lit. I also created a campfire in between episodes, because I thought it was very necessary, and uh, now I also have the ability to... Huh, that's weird. I, 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 I thought you could have three while you're in a bed. Uh, I, maybe I just didn't press the button, or maybe not. I don't know. Okay, but now I have enough wheat to do something important. It's called Make This Campfire Better. There we go. That ought to give me increased visibility. Okay, do we- oh yeah, that's right, I did create a miscellaneous earthwork checks in between. Okay. You know, having a traveling chest wouldn't be such a bad idea. So, yeah, there is that. Okay, I have some cactus, I can put you in here. Some of the other stuff. Finally grabbed some sugar cane while I was at it. Uh, hmm. In addition to my uh, rather nice uh, uh, fishing rod, I also got a second nautilus shell. So I need six more, and then I'll be able to make a conduit. Plus I'll need a lot of prismarine. But hey, I found an, a monument, so I know that's a thing. Of course, while I'm here, I also might as well make a traveling bed. Because eh, it would be okay. Is it necessary? Not entirely. Is it a good idea? Totally. Okay, so traveling bed. I'd call this some miscellaneous, er, uh, some miscellaneous earthwork. Uh, block of amethyst. That's a tough one. Miscellaneous earthwork or or ores and minerals, because. Yeah. <laughs> It's got a crystalline form, sort of like a lot of things used to be with certain types of ores, so, in, in mods, so I think I'll keep it in here. But, as I said, I am going to make myself that spyglass. I've been wanting one of these so I can yo-ho-ho -ho for a while. Aha! My first vanilla zooming tool. I have zoomed with other things before, whether it be Optifine, or Tinker's Goggles, but now I could do it with something in vanilla. It does have some amplification to it, so that helps. In fact, let me see, how well does it help me see through the water? Um, sort of? It zooms your view. Well, oh wait, let me look at a spot that I know it's not going to show me. Okay. Okay, so it does help you see a bit better through the water. If you're really close to it. <laughs> so, yeah, there's there's that. So th that helps. But I got one now. Hi, fish. Hi, peak. Oh, wait, can I see that from farther away? That would be also cool. Because that would also help me find my base camp easier. If I sweep around and see if I can see it, because 
see if I sweep my view. Ah, the tree's in the way. I'd like to I'd like to look up this way. So I sweep up here. Okay, I can see that from a good distance now. All the way down. Okay, it takes a while to scroll all the way down with this. But that's okay because you're going just a few blocks at a time. That's an interesting trade-off. I'll have to note that. But now I officially have a spyglass, so Oh wait. I, I I gotta I gotta do it with have that in my offhand. Okay, okay, that that's cool, because that makes it any time. Of course, then you can't use a shield in your offhand where it's meant to be, so eh, it would be an interesting choice if you if, if if you had to go between them. So that's fair. Oh yeah, I need to also dump off my uh magma blocks. Do I want to check the yeah, I can at least check this map. Okay. It's a long and enormous shoreline. Uh, again, I'd like to leave this for later. In fact, I probably should put my... Uh, well, treasure is often minerals, so I'll just put this in here for now. I'll get back to those later, but that is good. Okay, for now, maybe I should... I think I need to grab some more cobblestone in my mine. Because I obviously need to do some more. And I also need some lava, so... Yeah, I mean, I have a few torches. I, I can go deeper. I can go deeper. I've got some uh, unmined... Uh, Materials all over the place. So I should be fine, actually. Speaking of unmined materials, hi, hey, Iron. Thank you. Oh, the iron's just presenting itself today. Kind of. Okay, hey, I knew I'd have to get... Did I get at least an... Yeah, okay, I got enough to replace my stone pick. Because it's best to conserve the iron one for things that actually require it. Same as always, actually. Uh, I don't know how many people actually ever follow that rule. Some people just go with their best pick. But honestly, do you really want to waste your higher tier picks on things that can be done with the lower ones? Like, like seriously, that, that that is a big thought. Is, do you really want to waste the big ones on low tier, low tier stuff because like you you get a lot more use out of your big ones whenever you only do it whenever you need to. okay let me see what else do i have here well i need to get myself some more sticks that's fine i have trees In fact, I'll make two stone picks. Let's go all out, because I'm going to be going deep. I iron, you'll be smelted eventually. Eh, I'm still trying to figure out how to feng shui this, just with the addition of amethyst. I mean, that that's, that's not even there very much. And suddenly I'm, I'm having issues. Yeah, I'll, I'll take a few more. Torches, please. Thank you. Okay. So now we're back to going under. Deep under. Because I want to find lava. It's, it's not even about the usual stuff. Because I know I'm going to run into diamonds in various ways. I mean, this area is loaded with loot. And I have, in fact, found diamonds already. I mean, last episode I found diamonds out of, uh, I believe it was the buried treasure. So, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get diamonds pretty easily, actually. It's the other stuff I'm actually going to have more of an issue with, because I need lava to make another portal. Unless, of course, I miraculously find enough diamonds to make a diamond pickaxe first, but eh, could it happen? Yeah. I've done it before. Is it going to happen? No idea. 
Hey there, loco. I am going to use a lot of you. Because I have a lot of torches to deal with. So I am going deep. This is a big coal deposit. But I'm not going to refuse it. I, I totally need the coal. And I am going to be smelting a lot of things over time. So, yeah, the more the merrier, Cole. Just give it to me a lot, because I'm going to have to smelt a ton of things. Not the least of which is copper. <laughs> Again, it's weird that that's a vanilla thing now. I've had it in as a modded thing mainly for so long. But now that I actually have the copper, it's like, oh, wait. Oh my gosh, it's really here in vanilla. <laughs> Uh, I think my statistic I came up with was roughly half of mods that added ore added copper. Immediately it comes in again, right on cue. <laughs> Hello, copper. <laughs> I hadn't seen you for a few moments. Just a few, but it was moments. Okay, I'm wondering how deep I'm getting here. Okay, I'm I'm getting pretty close to diamond level, speaking of which. And for that matter, lava level. So this mine is going, going further. I also do have more ability to make torches on the go, so that's a thing. Speaking of a thing, uh... If we get that dripstone, there's going to be something that has been just waiting to be a thing in vanilla for quite some time. We officially now have a way of making lava renewable. Not the way that I would have thought it would be. <laughs> so, like, not at all. Uh, but is it cool? Yes. Is it how I thought it was going to be? No way. Uh, this is definitely quite a twist on renewability. I mean, there's always the defeat a mob route. There's making lava maybe in the nether infinite, but not in any other dimension where you do it just like water. So that has been an approach in the past, but did I see this approach coming that they used? <laughs> nope. Nope. This came out of left field. And I need to make a step here because I, I popped through enough coal to seal myself in. Okay. That could be a branch mine later. But I have an interesting concept of where they might be going with uh, archaeology, because they said that they might want to have like special rewards for getting particular combinations. And that would be very nice, because I was thinking, what about kind of a saga system, where you get certain combinations and you're guaranteed the ability to get certain enchants. Like, just have them placed near your enchantment table, and then it's like, okay, you got the saga here. You're guaranteed to get this on anything compatible. I also need to redstone for some things in the future, actually. So, that was convenient. We are officially at bedrock level. Actually, we went slightly... Uh, <laughs> lower than bedrock level. So that's interesting to note. The stone deposit. You know, I probably should have a bucket available at all times right now. Because when you're at this level, you start finding lava, and that's what, exactly what I'm here for. Diamonds are nice, but lava is what I'm after. It's a good thing I had more than one stone pick for this. Oh, my last torch. For now, because I can make more. I, I have I have the components. 
Uh, okay. Yep, hello. Okay, there we go. Classic dual wielding combo of pickaxe plus torch. Gold! I found gold. <laughs> Hello, gold. Uh, you're way more common and useful now at the same time. It's kind of a weird twist. But... So, I found gold in them there mine. Went super prospector there for a moment. Okay. Can I find diamonds or lava? It's weird when you're looking for lava and you just don't find it. It's also weird not seeing a lava lake or lava pond on a... Uh, This the okay. It's the way through. Around. It's weird not seeing lava in a desert, because I've I've seen lava in a desert so many up oh, wrong one. Hello. I've seen lavas in desert so many times. That I'm going, why did I find this whole desert and not one thing of lava? Like, seriously, they're weird places to usually find your lava lakes, but that's been my luck for quite some time. It's find lava lakes in deserts. But not this time. That one totally denied me. However, there is a chance that I might get additional obsidian at that, black, at, at, at that village because of blacksmiths. And also, possibly, you know, the lava itself would be good. So, could I possibly make my way to a lava full discovery? I believe so. So it is possible. I'll, I might explore that possibility a bit later. And I should switch out this gold ore for some cobblestone. But I'm also going to need to place some of those blocks along. To remind myself of places I've been. Redstone, hi. I have... I am very surprised lava has not jumped out at me yet. It's just the usual luck is you run into lava when you don't want it. <laughs> so it's like when you do want it, it's like, nope, I'm not feeling the bubbly sensation today. You're not going to be feeling as if you were a cola. Because I'm lava. I don't do that. I bubble, but not in that way. So lava, be cool. Or rather be hot. Just, you do you, lava, but I want lava. Seriously, how far can I go and not find lava? Do I need to retreat to base because of the lack of lava? Maybe? I have enough cobblestone to last me quite some time. That's a good thing. Well, I also have not run into an underground structure. I don't know how deep an amethyst geode can be, though. I just know that they can appear at sea level and below. After that, I'm not entirely sure. I saw a drip but it was water. I think I may have went back and hit the seafloor. Okay. Uh, did that, or maybe it's an underground uh, underground uh, pool. Uh, well, I tried. To be perfectly fair, lava level is uh, for underground is actually above me. So... I know I could have went at a different height and probably been a lot luckier. But I also have other ways of finding lava, so it's not perfectly where I have to do the mining. It's just I thought it was worth a shot. 
and it just did not occur. But that's fine. I, I can try to return to the... Uh, oh wait, I can mine this now. I'll just fill you in. I heard a cave sound. I know I've got a lot of empty spaces now, but those were caused by me. Does this mean a natural cave is close to me? Possibly. I, mean, I know this area is riddled with caves and in structures and stuff like that, so it could have been anything. Ah, I'm back during... Ah, the crack of dawn. Okay, fair enough. So I went mining, didn't lose too terribly much. I do, however, need to tree more in between, but that'll be fine. Okay, so I got some gold ore, got an absolute boatload of iron ore. Got some copper ore. Uh, got myself a ton of coal. Got myself a boatload of redstone. I mean, seriously, it was very giving. Uh, let me see, is there anything that... Uh, not, not really. I, I, I'm good with that for now, I suppose. Uh, hmm. Well... I, I could do some other stuff in between. I can get back to fishing for a while, because there's still some good stuff I'd like. Because, as I found before, uh, there... Oh, wrong button. There were horses, so I should certainly go for a saddle. Also, there's another big thing. Since Netherite is the new big non-renewable super uh, tier now, I need to make sure that I have plenty of mending books and stuff like that to go with it and y you know the drill make your stuff last forever and be awesome at the same time so that's definitely something I'm gonna do but uh, the fact that hey we have cool new stuff and speaking of which uh, little note several things changed uh, with this snapshot and that includes the fact that now the spyglass also has you know I probably should just uh Okay, uh, let's just do a quick swap here so you can see. But the Spyglass now has a better model where it's kind of a more 3D thing. And it has a little... It, it, it's had this little animation for a while. You can do whatever you can actually put it up to you. But uh, you, you can see what I mean. They, they, they're improving things as they go, which is really awesome. So I'll probably just do a little stuff uh, uh, back and forth. Maybe I'll just do some fishing for a while and get and get back to things later but whenever I go for the village I'll definitely want to do that on screen because there's a good chance it'll have loot hopefully good loot and hopefully I can find some lava at some point it would be beautiful if they have it it looked like a decently sized village from what I could see of it like it was kind of going over the horizon in that in that in that biome just kind of stretching at a good arc and that's the sign of a great village but more than that I'm also going to need to do some off-screen fishing because nowadays Villages almost always have cats, and I could totally use a cat. So, yeah, I, I want the cat. I mean, even if they don't like the water that much, I'm pretty sure I can get them over here somehow. Like, the classic put-your-cat-in-a-boat routine. So, we'll, we'll see how that works. But I, I, I will definitely be preparing to go on a uh, cat expedition later. So, for now, I'll be logging off. Uh, hope to see you all later, and bye for now, everybody.